Kyoto is full of all these hidden little secrets that most people never get the chance to see. Some obvious, some not. A while back I did a video on hidden shrines here in Kyoto and also learned that the entire area is filled with hiking trails. So when I got an offer from my friends at Magical Trip to take me through some of the trails hidden behind my favorite shrine here in Kyoto, Fushimi Inari, of course, of course, I jumped at that opportunity and there's Akiko. Good morning. Good morning, Norm. Akio and I here are yakitori buddies. So are you ready? Yeah, of course. It's gonna be a good day. Actually, I'm not, I'm so used to leading everything. You're the guide today, yes, of course. not today me. I have no idea where we're going. Are you ready to go hidden hike? Is that is that what we're calling it? A hidden hike? Hidden hike. I like the yes. name hidden hike. Yes, I'm ready for a hidden hike. Nice. Let's do the hidden hike. Yes. There is a secret back entrance of a Fushimi Inari shrine. So see. I love the sound. A secret back entrance of Fushimi Inari. Also, this is actually one of the things I love about Kyoto is how many narrow, tiny alleyways there are. <laughs> so narrow. <laughs> so is that back entrance near here? Oh, just right around the corner. <sighs> I'm already just a little bit excited. I'd say yeah. a little more than a little. I have a love for Fushimi Inari that I think is going to keep coming out today. So. There is something come here. <laughs> Here, this is Buddhism deity statue, okay. and entrance is around over there, mm -hmm. and this protects travelers. That is really cool. I had no idea. If I saw that and I was mm -hmm. just walking by, I would have assumed it was just some random Ojizo-san statue or something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. actually, Ojizo-san is protecting weak person, including oh. travelers. That's what. So that that's what they're all for. Yeah. No, I had no idea, <laughs> and I really love this area too. Look at this. I just love this little back street neighborhood yeah. hidden behind Fushimi. So and there's a little fox oh, here so too. Cute, right? Look at that. Actually, there is one of the praying altar spot in Fushimi Inari Shrine so over there. This is part of Fushimi Inari Shrine. Yes, exactly. What? Okay, this right here. Tori Gate. Kyoto local guide. Yeah. There's actually a set of rules and customs for going through Tori Gate too, yes. isn't there? Here is a Tori Gate. Tori Gate means inside is a sanctuary spot. Okay. So we need to respect. So that's why we need to take off our hats. Yeah. And bow. And bow one time. Uh huh. And then we avoid walking through the middle. That's yeah. right. It's like <laughs> I've heard that the middle is mm -hmm. kind of like the the gods space. Show us how to do it. Show us how to do okay. it. Okay. So like this. Okay. Take off our hats. About one time. Uh huh. Right side, right leg. Right side, right leg. That's right. It's right that side. detail. Right, right side. Right side, right leg. So no left side. Actually, you can walk through this left side. But if you work through with this left side, uh. you need to work with the left, left leg. leg. Yeah. I had no idea. Oh, really? It's the same with putting on hakama. Like which oh, yeah. leg you put on first is very important. Like yes. the, the Japanese hakama for kimono. I had no idea about the tori gate though. The other thing is I don't really fit under this <laughs> tori gate. <laughs> Side, right, right leg, leg. And I have to duck under <laughs> to do this. Wow, okay. So this is part of Fushimi Inari Shrine, but it's not connected to the rest of it. It's not connected. Is there a lot of this? Is there like a lot of little hidden Fushimi Inari Shrine? Exactly. What? And I guess that's the entrance up there. Right foot. So how many Tori gates are there in total? Oh, it is said more than 3,000 Tori gate in this Fushiminari mountain. And this is basically what's like who donated it and when, right? Yeah, exactly. I've actually, I've always wanted to like <laughs> donate a Tori. Do you know how much it costs to donate one? Can you guess how much the cost? I can't. Okay, so I've always, always wanted mm -hmm. to like have my own Tori gate uh -huh. in Fushiminari oh, really? shrine. Yeah. But actually, it's we can we need to wait there is a there's donation like a, list there's a list yeah waiting list <laughs> oh <my. laughs> we need to wait more know. than five years i'm gonna guess ten thousand dollars 
Don't sell Check them in. Doris. Mm, no. Is it more or less? More. Oh my god. <laughs> eh, uh, eh? It's a go kyakuma, 50,000. Uh, no. How much? <laughs> So that's about 1.8 million yen, which give or take exchange rates is anywhere yeah. between like 120 and 170 thousand dollars. And this is really. <laughs> We're on this bridge, and a moment ago, a K truck came through <laughs> and going up the mountain. There's no rails, there's nothing. There's a whole other hiking path there. Where does that oh, go? Yeah, that goes to another part of the Fushimino Shrine. Wow, this is this is amazing. So when we went into that little shrine earlier and you were teaching me the customs, yes. I think one of the things that a lot of people get nervous about is that they're going to make a mistake when they come to Japan and they're going to oh, yeah. do the wrong thing and they're going to offend mm. Japanese people. Mm -hmm. If they do it wrong, are Japanese people going to get angry? No, of course not. In my experience anyway, Japanese people love to teach. So don't yeah. be afraid of making Ex mistakes. Yes, exactly. By the way, I love this. So cute. So we're going to go down this way. <laughs> oh boy. Covered in snow and ice. Just, just try not to slip at this point. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so what is this? So this is another praying altar spot in Fushiminari Shrine. I love, love the moss. So these Inari shrine all over Japan, you'll often see foxes. There are four kinds of foxes here. What? Four kinds of foxes. Four? I had no idea. Okay, what do we got? Okay, here is a ball, right? Oh. A ball means a spirit of the god. Okay. Spirit, yeah? Here is a scroll. Okay. Means knowledge, means letter from the god. And then we can find key near the main shrine. And then, of course, the last one is rice. And did you see that gentleman walk yeah. down here? I can't believe we got to see that. Beautiful. Actually, I came here more than 100 times, maybe more than 200 times. Oh. But this is the first time to see the real Tokyo. Really? Yeah, real. Oh, wow, so lucky. Kind, so kind, kind of a special day. Yeah. Also, I don't want to forget, monkeys and boars <laughs> are also a little bit of a problem in Fushinari. Actually, all over Japan. Yeah, all over Japan, the mountain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> try, so try not to. All right, so we're up this way? Yes, here. Look at all the green as well. Considering it's winter, it's a lot less brown than I would expect, but I'm very glad that I brought the hiking boots. Magical Trip does tours all over Japan, but when I first learned about them, it was their bar hopping tours, and you're not going to need boots for bar hopping tours. Speak, I am stuck on that tree. <gasps> <laughs> also, for some reason, this is all barbed wire. So had I just fallen, okay, we're good. We're good. We're gonna catch up to Akiko. This area here actually reminds me of a forest that was near my house oh, when yeah. I was growing up in Canada. Oh yeah. And we'd always go out to the forest and play like hide and seek and stuff like that. And wow, this is this is a narrow ledge. I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> We are a oh, bamboo forest. Yes. I like the sound of bamboo forest. Okay. Bamboo forest it is. I've always known that there were hiking trails behind Fushimi Inari. I've always wanted to check them out. I hear some even connect to other mountains and whatnot. I don't know what I was expecting, but I definitely wasn't expecting all of this. What? Natural bumper forest.
This is seriously so much better than Arashiyama. Arashiyama is always crowded with people. Is this one of the like regular spots on your Fushimi Inari tour? Oh yeah. But do you know how many centimeters are they grown up in a day? You mean like the bamboo? Yeah. I'm gonna guess 30 centimeters in a day. I know it's fast. 30 centimeters? 100 centimeters. You're a liar. A hundred, <laughs> a hundred centimeters in a day. Yeah, of course. The wow. 100 centimeters in a day. And people actually come and like search for the the baby bamboo, bamboo sprouts, shoot, right? right? Yeah, 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 like the takenoko. Takenoko, we Japanese people love eating the bamboo shoot. It's takenoko. actually really good. <sighs> a big old fallen tree there. And here, you see the red cray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red cray. Because huh. in order this, we had no chemical pink. So we used to use this kind of red cray to dye torigate. Really? Yeah. So this is how the torigates were originally all painted. That's right, exactly. What? So beautiful red here. every opportunity that Akio has to teach me something like we walk by a fallen tree let's talk about the clay this this is spectacular there are three ways here right yeah so if we keep on this way dead end okay right way right way yeah good good death death <laughs> why why is that death there is, there is a slide. So it's just like a drop off. Yeah, it's kind of like a, kind of like, if you want to keep on playing, slide. Yeah, yeah, let's go this way. This way seems okay. good. We'll go this way. <laughs> this is a sakura tree. Just only one big sakura tree. This, around this mountains area. So beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> is that, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Is that already <laughs> Fushimi Inari area down there? Finally. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got this like stupid smile on my face right now because like I'm up on the mountain. It feels weird. It feels weird looking down on Fushimi Inari from up here. <laughs> what? Don't use this for <laughs> 10, 10 centimeters here, please. <laughs> Be careful. Fushimi Nari Shrine up there and people. I haven't seen people in hours. Medical pores, water for inside. Yes. And there's a bucket, right? That's oh, right. I love this spot. <laughs> See? Bucket. Never thought that I'd have a chance to hike the back trip. This is amazing. This you is just. You can drink the water. You can drink the water? Of course. You can drink. Absolutely. That is just really fresh, clean water. Wow. I am, I am like happy like a child right now. It's a boiled egg. And this, it's just boiled egg. Yeah, just a boiled egg. But these eggs are also boiled with that water for his water. What? Really clean, really nice. Usually, we Japanese people, if we want to welcome the guest, we usually offer the tea. Oh. So, please drink tea. Thank you. Feels weird to be around people now. <laughs> <laughs> Grab an egg. Have you this egg before? This egg? No, I didn't even know that this egg existed. Oh, yeah. There we go, eating eggs on a mountain. Yeah. You know, you mentioned how tea is often used to welcome people. That's right. There's, I've also heard of an old Kyoto custom. Oh. One where they offer ochazuke, which is oh. like tea poured over rice yeah. as like a, you may have overstayed your welcome because in Japan, rice is usually the last thing you That's eat right. in a meal. But last time that we mm -hmm. went for yakitori, mm -hmm. you were telling me about like a, a watch, watch. One? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Okay, so you know, we sometimes say, oh, your watch is so gorgeous. And maybe you will you will see the watch, right? Yeah, and then and you then... realize, ah, I've <laughs> oh, stayed no. just a little bit too late. Yeah. So, I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, wow. it's late. I should get going. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I like that. Mm. Tastes like an egg. Oh, shit. Good. <laughs> It got colder today. Like I yeah. it usually gets warmer as you go in the day, but 
It's clouded over. You can see my breath. Biggest prank outer spot in Fushimi Inari Shrine. Really? Yeah, biggest one. You can see here and over there. You see? Wow, it just keeps going. What? I knew about this spot and this space, but I had no idea that it went on this deep into the bed. It just keeps going. Look at this. What? You know, I've been to Fushimi Nari, I'm gonna say more than a dozen times at least. And to be able to come back here and still discover things that I've never seen or known about this. <laughs> Oh, this this is happiness. I'll link an entire video of this place at night as well. It's, it's amazing.